Nothing compares to being able to freshly harvest cucumbers every day during summer. Crispy, juicy, and flavorful. Mix it in salads, pickle, or enjoy them straight from the vine. Cucumbers are one of the easiest vegetables to grow. Follow my guide and discover new methods of urban gardening. Start by hand selecting seeds. Check for viability by soaking in water. Floating seeds can be discarded. I collect seeds at the end of every season. This provides healthy and viable varieties. Use your preferred germination containers. I chose the peat pots due to their eco-friendly properties. High rodent activity has led me to this route instead of directly sowing. Mature plants have a higher chance of survival. Compost or organic potting soil is recommended for this application. It can be stored to overwinter and still maintain the microbial life we desire. Fill cells proportionally and avoid overpacking. Seedlings prefer loose soil, not compacted. Create a small half inch dip to place the seeds. Any deeper you'll reduce the chances of germination. Place two to three seeds per cell. Cold weak plants to reduce competition. Lightly cover the seeds with potting soil and allow it to germinate. Three days after germination, you'll start to see a developed cotyledon and root development. Apply worm tea to prevent pests in addition to providing nutrients to the seedlings. You may not see any growth for a day or two. This is due to the root development stage. Check for early stages of pest infestation. Continue to fertilize seedlings. They tend to feed very aggressively as they grow. These trays allow us to feed directly to the root zone with minimal disturbance to the seedlings. A method I recommend is to remove one cell. It will leave an opening for easy access, especially when they become larger plants. After a week, you'll notice a true leaf appear. This is a good sign that there is a strong root system developing. After two weeks, you'll hardly recognize the seedlings. At this stage, they're ready to be planted in your garden and ready to produce within the week when settled. The growth may accelerate and explode overnight without notice. Although they're root bound, it's perfectly fine to separate them before planting in a new home. The roots are extremely thick and healthy. The scent they release is identical to a fresh cut cucumber. This is actually how I identify the varieties if I misplace the tags. This process is optional, but strongly encouraged. Prepare your plant bed if left to overwinter. Replenish the nutrients by reseeding it. Biodegradable scraps, compost, or any organic matter such as yard trimmings should be part of this recipe. Coffee grounds and eggshells will provide a pH balance and calcium, in addition to feeding our worms, which we'll introduce in a bit. Cardboard cup holders will provide bedding and nutrition, Compostable beverage cups will complement bedding in addition to nutrition. Beverage sleeves will provide the needed insulation and nutrition. Dried garlic, onions, and herb scraps deter pests, allowing time for the plant bed to develop. Compost peat moss provides a natural bedding, insulation, and maintains pH. Coarse coffee grounds is not only beneficial for the garden, but it provides a digestive property for the worms. Red wriggler worms, along with castings, to make them feel right at home. Any variety of compost worms can be used for this purpose. 
Worms will be attracted to the arrangement of this compost if you're unable to add any. Mycorrhizal supplement assists plants in moisture and nutrient intake. Azomite, A to Z nutrients that will fill in any gaps where needed. Azospirillum, or azos, promotes health of the plant during development. Start by evenly distributing organic components throughout the plant bed. Generously distribute the supplements. Exact measurements aren't necessary. Top off with your choice of compost or potting soil. Saturate the soil to activate microbial life growth. Release the worms once water drains to avoid drowning them. Gently soak with water to provide moisture for your friends. Hand select any healthy and vigorous plants. Compost any that have impacted growth. Dense roots can be separated with minimal plant shock if soaked in warm tea. Aged worm tea will have the best results. Overnight worm tea will not provide these benefits due to lack of microbial life. Insert the seedlings directly into the plant bed and cover. The container will attract worms and naturally reseed over time. Plant seedlings in pairs if space permits. This will increase your chances of pollination and provide you with a larger bounty. Worm tea offers a large variety of benefits. This is dependent on how a worm bin is managed. Healthy roots overgrowing the container, it's reached maturity and ready to produce. Mist daily in the morning to attract beneficial insects and promote healthy plants. And to keep kitty out during daily plant care. Female flowers will emerge within the week of planting, provided space for proper growth. Stake plants with bamboo to encourage vertical gardening. This can be completed as soon as the first tendril appears. Prune any root suckers and sun leaves. Root suckers can be identified as smaller vines growing out of the central leader.
By two weeks, the plants have reached maturity and larger bamboo sticks will assist with further development. Continue to prune root suckers and weak leaves. This prevents disease and pests. Airflow is a key component in healthy plants. Air circulation allows plants to properly photosynthesize. It also encourages beneficial insects to pollinate the flowers. Apply vegetable plant clips vertically to encourage plants to climb. The plants will experience minimal plant shock when sticks are replaced, as long as the root zone isn't violently disturbed. Check on plants daily during summer once they're mature. It's very rewarding to see them surprise you with fruits. Pruning should be completed daily to maintain the well-being of the plants. The fruits will be higher quality in terms of taste and yield. It also keeps the growth under control. Prune in areas that obstruct production. This will result in higher quality yields. Cats are attracted to plant beds and vegetative growth. The space created for airflow will make them feel right at home. Female flowers appear green and firm once they're successfully pollinated. You will also notice a wilted flower at the tip. The open space at the base helps produce healthy male flowers, which lead to healthy pollinators. These male flowers have already bloomed. Hopefully, they provided the pollen required by female flowers. Pollinators such as ants, bees, and butterflies are attracted to the bright flowers. A failed pollinated female flower will appear yellow and wilt. Poorly pollinated flowers will have uneven growth. Visually inspect plants if there are signs of impacted growth or health issues. This healthy leaf appears to be infiltrated by an unidentified invader. A closer look reveals several trails below the surface of the leaf. Upon inspection, you'll notice tiny larvae traveling through the inner channels of the leaf. This infestation can be addressed by squeezing the infected area to dispatch the larvae. The leaves can also be pruned to ensure eradication. Prevent this by spraying worm tea or water early in the morning to prevent leaves from being penetrated by leaf miner flies. Local ladybugs would be attracted to these plants. Not for the flowers, but for the delicious aphids. Swarms of ants will hide under leaves alongside aphids. Spot them by checking curled or discolored leaves. Prevent by releasing generalist predators, spraying water, or worm tea. This pinched and discolored section of the leaf is in the early stages of infestation. A day after pollination, you'll notice a firm and healthy growth. Two days later, you'd hardly recognize it. Cucumber plants grow very aggressively during summer when the temperatures are between 75 to 85 Fahrenheit, equivalent to 23 to 29 Celsius. Healthy plants will have a high production, help their growth by pruning off root suckers. Fruits will mature from the bottom upwards. Early morning mist and deep soak for thirsty plants will help you achieve great yields. 
Mature plants will sometimes grow out of control. Heavy pruning is required. They can also be topped to allow a root sucker to continue growth. This prevents plants to grow past your desired height. Allow a few mature cucumbers to develop. This will provide you with viable seeds to collect for the next planting season. Check out my next video for a detailed guide on how to collect viable seeds. Root suckers can be identified as side growth. They can be pruned without harming the plant. Allow to grow if the central leader has reached an undesired height. Do not discard the clippings. Save these for the worms to enjoy. This open space provides necessary airflow for the plants, also to prevent unwanted pests and diseases. The worms will appreciate the variety of clippings, as long as they're free from any contamination. Add a combination of browns and greens for variety. Complement this by topping off with coffee grounds. Saturate the plants after every pruning. This prevents them from dehydration and stress. The best time to harvest vegetables is early in the morning when it's full of juices. Evening harvest tends to yield a less favorable flavor. Uneven pollination creates unusual shapes, but they're still edible. These wilted leaves have defoliated due to its age. It would spread diseases if it were still intact. Signs of failed female flowers will occur often if they're not properly spaced or open to attract pollinators. Hen pollination can also be a solution. Healthy pollinated female flowers will mature in 3 to 5 days, weather permitting. Create open space for male flowers. They'll grow along the central leader. They'll also appear on root suckers if left unattended. Expect to harvest at least every other day once plants are established. Each plant yields on average 9 to 12 cucumbers. The quality declines as the plant ages. Allow several mature cucumbers to develop to collect seeds. Make sure to share with your family, friends, and neighbors. Mature cucumbers are ready to be collected once the plant begins to wilt and turn brown at the base. At this stage, they're still edible, but doesn't have a pleasant taste. Not all seeds will be viable, but many will be. You'll have plenty to share. Thank you for watching. I hope this video provides you undiscovered methods of planting cucumbers to continue your success with gardening.